this in this offense and with this red hot running back McBride playing well this is a tough offense to slow down second down for the Blazers Hopkins will throw it deep downfield has a man it's caught in stride and it will be a touchdown for that man Trey Shropshire <laughs> That's why he leads the country in yards per catch. Hey, you are right on cue with that. And this is what this offense can certainly do. Just when you think they're going to continue to pound the rock, they come with a little bit of play action pass, and Shropshire can fly out fly, and he outruns the defensive back here, and it's not even close. And you see right there, Ken Robinson didn't have a chance to make that play. Second down. Bootleg rollout, pass caught by the tight end Leroy Watson. Good for a first down, six yards across the 35 to the 36 yard line. This is one of the top third down defenses in the country. Facing a long third down here, and Harris under pressure loses the football. Roadrunners jump on it to keep possession. That was Mikai Hart. Dean's punt, huge. That's a nice one. Oh, my gosh. Let's see where it goes out of bounds at the 12-yard line. This unit has gotten better each game this season. It's going to be a tough task for this front of the Roadrunners. McBride starts left, moves right, and across the 35. Second down at 25, and the Roadrunners. Stuff the run from McBride. Loss of a couple back to the 20-yard line. This is an outstanding job by McDougal. He's playing nose tackle. He and Jalen Haynes have to be on their game today. One of those honored here today on Senior Day in San Antonio. That's a nice one there, too. Big spiraling kick. Taken by Jones at the 25. He fumbles the ball. The UTSA looks like they're able to jump on it. And they do. The line today. And of sincere McCormick and McCormick breaks off seven yards on first down consistent he is in the running game to Corey and Clark on the reception turns it up to midfield first down for the Roadrunners on a game of 10 actually spot Harris out at the 46 so third and seven and he'll take off running Harris with a first down to the 35 yard line. Gun. We'll hand off to McCormick. Sheds a tackle moving left. And McCormick. Do it. Harris throws a fade to the end zone. To Corey oh, Franklin with an incredible one handed grab. Touchdown, Roadrunners. I mean, this is consecutive weeks. He's made an unbelievable catch. This is outstanding. This could have been easily defensive pass interference and defensive holding, but he just snags it. And this is what they do in pregame warmups. They just do a one-handed catch drill. Either they're just messing around or they're just trying to get the feel of it. Zakari Franklin adding to his highlight reel. Hopkins with plenty of time. Now will rely on his feet. And chased. Rolled out of bounds near the 30-yard line. That's Dylan Hopkins go to player here. Hopkins darts one over the middle. Caught at the 35-yard line. Good for a first down. First and 20. Pass to the far side of the field. It's caught by Rajay Johnson Sanders, still running up to midfield. Wow, a tremendous run after the catch for Johnson Sanders, and he picks up a first down. Well, he's a big receiver. You don't think he can really move. At 6'4", 215 pounds, he makes one guy miss. We just talked about Sam making a play, and he makes a guy miss. Hopkins play action. Delivers downfield, caught at the 10. Touchdown, Trey Shropshire does it again. Shropshire is a problem today, folks. This kid can flat out run. His defense doesn't have an answer for number 11. 
Harris with the toss out to Cephas. And Joshua Cephas, a nice gain after the catch. Picks up seven before going out of bounds. Yeah, if you need to do it, trying to climb back at this one down by a touchdown. Five-yard run by McCormick on first down. Now Harris will try to run for the first down as he picks up five yards, maybe six. Catch it. Harris throws downfield to Corey Clark. Brings it in at the 35-yard line. And there's the other one. And part of this trio, these receivers are big and they're physical. You just throw it up, and they just go out basketball to defensive back. Harris steps up, delivers. Clark is open over the middle, right at the first down marker. That's a big-time throw. This is big time football. It's not a clean pocket. You're not going to be able to step clean like you want. You got to throw it in traffic. Harris in trouble, and down he goes. Yeah, sometimes the defense will win. Roadrunners with a break. See if they can capitalize here. Hand off McCormick, and he will capitalize indeed. Eight yard touchdown run. Sincere McCormick, and the Roadrunners are back to within a point. This game, but I think these two teams have settled in right now. We're going to get the best of both teams now. Dwayne McBride pushing off tacklers. Max playing very well. Dylan Hopkins, 7 of 8 through the air. He'll keep it on the ground here, and McBride is off to the races. Inside the 40, the ball comes loose. A receiver dives on it. For UAB, that's Rajay Johnson Sanders, but a big run for McBride almost went to disaster. Yeah, you just see his ability to get to the next level. He's a patient runner, and right there, there's a nice play by Feaster. Hopkins keeps it inside the 10 and pushed out of bounds at the five yard line. Back to this wide side. Second and goal. Hopkins has a path, and he finds his way into the end zone. Touchdown, UAB. It's a run-pass option for the quarterback. If you see room, you just go be a football player, and this quarterback is playing a heck of a game, especially in this first half. And they both have a running back they can rely on, although since Sarah McCormick goes down on first down as he was tackled by Keandre Swoops. You could take no team for granted, especially one as good as UAB. Toss complete over the middle. Cephas has room to run inside the 40. Down to the 35-yard line. Joshua Cephas with a huge game as the Roadrunners go into Blazer territory. And, and this is why Frank Harris's game is so much better now. His pocket presence to keep his eyes upfield. Pressure on Harris. And he is brought down. Oh, boy. Loss of 11. Harris has to get rid of it. Finds McCormick. Good tackle. And McCormick able to take it upfield. He would match his long for the year. Kick is on the way. Plenty of leg. And it is right through the uprights. 51 yards for Hunter DePlessis. Boy, <laughs> yeah, he's on top of his game today. He will sling it downfield and has a man what caught. A catch. Garrett Prince with a terrific catch at the 41 yard line. This is a fantastic catch. I cannot tell you the degree of difficulty in between two defenders. 34 yards into UTSA territory. And now the run, good for another 10 for Jermaine Brown. This game was outstanding, and I think he's showing you why he's the guy pulling the trigger. McBride. Nine yards. Pressure coming. Hopkins steps up inside the 10. Good call. And he is able to get two seconds left in the half. The kick is on the way, and it's good. And Bill Clark and the Blazers of UAB will take a seven-point seven lead to halftime.
as they are ahead of UTSA. Even I'm not sure if he does or not, but certainly tough to get over with with the pass. Pass to McCormick, far sideline. He'll roll out of bounds. Harris steps up, throws deep. Franklin is open. He catches it. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. That was a thing of beauty. 55 yards. Harris to Franklin. It's UAB. This is a thing of beauty. They empty the backfield. They go five wide receivers, and yeah, it's a clear face mask there at the end. They empty the backfield, and this secondary doesn't really know what to do. And now you've got a safety at the position. Hopkins will hand it off. Oh, my and goodness. Ball comes loose. Hopkins able to jump on it, but McBride was leveled, and the ball came loose as he was hit by Brandon Brown. Now check the adjustment, number one. Check it. And Dantzler with the tackle on Sanders on that last play. Third and ten. Hopkins under pressure, and down he goes. And it's Lorenzo Dantzler again. Ready to go. Third and six for the Roadrunners. Pressure on Harris. He's wrapped up. And Frank Harris will be dropped for a loss. Gets a line drive oh, away boy. here. They were coming after that one. And it is picked up at the 15 yard line. No more will Thomas be able to make. First and 19. Hopkins in trouble. He'll step up. Plenty of room to run. 20-yard line and a first down for Dylan Hopkins as he goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. He's got 50 yards rushing today. Nice play. McBride tripped up. And off McBride. Jumps over a defender. Picks up the first down. Coach Jeff Trailer called the Alamo Dome triangle of toughness this week. And it might have just helped the UTSA Roadrunners pick off Dylan Hopkins and turn the ball over. I don't think he ever saw him. Here he is, Dylan Hopkins. He's been good. Ligon just sitting there watching the quarterback's eyes. Ligon sets your offense in the plus region here ahead of the chains. Harris steps up, but he has swung down. The Blazers deep in their own territory. Fair catch, called for at the 10 yard line. Runner fans are making it loud at the Alamo Dome. Incomplete pass. Ooh, that was dangerous. Fourth down for the Blazers. Cal Greenwell. He's had a couple of big punts this afternoon. He sends this one high up into the rafters at the Alamo Dome. It yeah, takes a UAB roll, but there is a penalty flag at the 40-yard line, and deservedly so. Harris with time, and will have to run. 35-yard line, and he goes out of bounds for the senior from San Antonio Cole High School. Kick is on the way, and it is good. Garrett Prince, Hayden Pittman. Hopkins, pressure, sacked. What a play, Clarence Hicks. Hopkins pressured. And down he goes. And Clarence Hicks. He's at the slot at the top of the screen. Short dump off. McBride tackled the midfield. Well short of the first down. Just a little bit over three yards per rush. Harris trying to turn it upfield, but he is wrapped up. Sincere McCormick in the run game. And they've really made it a throwing contest between the two QBs. Ball comes loose. Loose ball diving for it. It's a madhouse as everybody 
tries to jump on the ball, and it's Zakari Franklin. I don't think Hopkins is going to be able to stand back and hold this ball, let these routes to develop. Hopkins delivers to an open man, 40-yard line. Keep your eye on Hayden Pittman. Hopkins delivers, and it's caught at the 22-yard line by Garrett Prince, the other tight yeah. end, good for a first down. I couldn't tell if it was a 10 or a 1 when he took off from the line of scrimmage, but he gets knocked around. Sitting in the backfield behind Hopkins. He'll take the handoff. Cut left. Inside the 15, inside the 10-yard line. First and goal. Hopkins in trouble. And he is brought down. Who else? Who else? McLaren takes. McBride who winds up in the backfield. He'll take the handoff. Finds a hole. Inside the five. Touchdown. Dwayne McBride, who has had a huge day, gives UAB the lead with his best run of the day. It's such a luxury when you can run the ball. Second and seven. Pass two to Corey Clark. Clark breaks a tackle, and it's enough to pick up a first down. And this is just why these receivers are so good. They're big and physical. We talked about that, but they are refusing to go down. He's having his way. Harris steps up and spun down at the line of scrimmage. They're going to try to heat him up here. Harris rolls out of the pocket, looks downfield, will take off running, and Harris goes out of bounds. And it's a two, cover two, look kind of safety. The middle of the field may be back open. Throw to Franklin, and he drags his feet at the 30-yard line. They rule the pass incomplete. Another right, let's, look take a, here. let's take a look here, folks. Really you got the, the same look we After video review, the ruling on the field stands. It's an incomplete pass. I think you're right, LD. Not enough evidence. Field and allowed the football to bring these receivers back, but they're starting to bring the house. Harris looks, throws, ball is caught, but it's short of a first down. The ruling on the that field was is a catch short of the line again. It'll be first and 10 UAB. And that is the ruling on the field as well. UTSA has two timeouts left. Yep. Hopkins, hands off McBride. They keep it safe. McBride on a second effort, pushing wow. toward that first down marker. <laughs> oh, and man. he might just have it. That second effort right here at the end. He's stuffed. But right there, that little bitty extra effort. Short. Oh, my goodness. By that much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fourth down. I think they may just be taking a delay of game here and putting the ball away. Wow. I don't know about that one. Harris steps up. Open man. Cardenas at midfield. That's a big play. Oscar Cardenas. If he's got the time to make that throw. Harris running, throws it complete, and getting out of bounds at the 43-yard line to Corey and Clark. The middle of the field is open. Deep throw. Clark, the intended receiver. That's a good he one. has it. Are you kidding? He has it. It's a catch. At the 10-yard line. Are you kidding me? This is a fantastic catch. He contorts his body. That's incredible. And now these boat runners knocking on the door, Doug. 27 seconds left. Harris steps up at the five. He reaches for the end zone. But he is down at the one yard line. Got to get up and clock it. You got to spike the ball. You got to clock this ball, LD, if you're UTSA. Got to spike it. Got to spike it right now. You've got a blazer staying down on the field. 
Second and goal. Please reset the game clock to nine seconds. They put three, three more seconds on the clock. That's a huge difference because now difference. you can run two plays. To give it to our bell cow in the backfield. Harris looks to throw incomplete. Only two okay. takes off the clock. Seven seconds remain. Yeah, and that's a that's a high percentage play. Harris drops the snap, throws it to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. <laughs> movie. I don't even know what else to say. That ball was tipped. Frank Harris drops the snap and it, it, everything slows down and the pass gets tipped like you said and how about the unsung hero Cardenas. What a drive what a comeback for a UTSA. Yeah, that's the perfect kick. That's all you want to do and get ready for some tossbacks here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, that was short lived. Adrian Taylor. Thanks to the special team star, Adrian Taylor. And now we finally had a final score. 33, or 34 to 31. Here at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, UTSA, the West Division champions in Conference USA. And one game away from running the table in their regular season. Thank you.